Wheel Alignment Part 3 We are now going to talk about an angle known as toe-in, which logically is a clear allusion to the toes of humans. Where we have this position, we are seeing it from the top. And here we have a diagram where we can see that the front of the wheels are closer than the back. That gives me a positive angle and if it's in the opposite direction it's a negative angle. The idea is that in practically all vehicles we are going to have certain ranges that will vary depending on what I am going to use the vehicle for and logically in order to make an alignment there are ranges that will allow it to be adjusted correctly again. So this assumes that we normally have a positive angle at the start. When we have the start of a movement, there is going to be a transfer of force and there is going to be a transfer of momentum that is going to allow it to do this and then go in a straight line. That's the most common, but it depends on the application. It may be that those angles vary.